I'm super excited. Our next guest came all the way from Chicago. We're going to be talking about Live Lena and Algae. Uh, welcome to the show. It's Cameron and John. How are you guys today? Good. Good. Thanks for having us. Good. So I was talking, you were talking about Chicago. I was talking about St. Louis, but you're not originally from Chicago. Where are you guys from? So we were both born in Seattle. Okay. Um, I've been in Chicago for about 10 years. Cam's been there for about seven years now. Nice. So now you're partners and you have this product and it's called Live Lena. And I was like, I did not know what Sperlina was. <laughs> so I'm sure if I don't yeah. know, there's a lot of people maybe in our audience that they don't know. So what is this beverage uh, powder mix? What is this food? I guess it's healthy food for you. Yeah. So Cameron, what is spirulina? Yeah, I would say, you know, spirulina is one of the most nutritional, dense foods on the planet. It's been around for thousands of years. Uh, NASA has actually, you know, tested it with astronauts up in space. Um, and, you know, the first time John and I had heard about it and all the benefits of it, which I'm sure we'll get into later, um, we just thought, okay, there has to be more companies that are doing this, uh, and there wasn't. And so, yeah. um, you know, it's kind of the... I don't want to say a light bulb moment, but kind of the moment where we thought, okay, maybe we're getting a little bit warmer and, you know, potentially having a business idea that was viable. Because uh, when we were, had talked about doing a business, we had a lot of ideas, but a lot of them were pretty bad. So <laughs> this definitely seemed like one of the better ones. Well, yeah. Seattle, I know, is um, known for like their music scene, right? So we're either Grunge. like, yeah, yeah. We're either if you like into the music business at all or no. no. Okay. We, um, no, we both kind of had athletic backgrounds. Um, and that was part of the founding story of Lena as well. And that's why we got so into the health, healthy side of things and making the world healthier and making ourselves healthier. So John, you were sharing with me earlier that um, you were a little overweight as yeah. a, as oh, a yeah. <laughs> child. So tell me about that journey. Yeah. Because you look really healthy now and super fit. Well, so. yeah, it's a journey. That's the right way to we describe have, it. We have, to, we have to have a good looking face. There you go. Nice. <laughs> <I don't laughs> gotta, yeah, it is a journey. Um, I think that's something that I like identify a lot with trying to build Lena and getting awareness going is it's really not something you can, there's no silver bullet to any of that stuff. And when I was overweight and I wanted to kind of change my life, it just takes a, it's a process and it's a day by day uh, way of living. And I think with building something, you just have to kind of appreciate the small steps you take every day to make it a little bit better. And then a year later, or six months later, and you look back, you can actually, okay, wow, I didn't think I actually came far, but I did. And so, that's something that I think uh, I've come to appreciate a lot with Lena and even just, um, you know, anything I'm trying to get done now is just appreciate those, those little baby steps because they go a long way. They absolutely do. And Cameron, you were talking to me about um, also being an athlete and, yeah. and, and your journey. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I was kind of, you know, wasn't as good of an athlete growing up, um, but I feel like I was kind of always searching for the thing. And uh, yeah, in 2019, I signed up for a half Ironman just because I was in a bit of a rut from work. and you know, went down to Argentina actually um, with my girlfriend at the, and uh, yeah, did it. And, you know, I think 400 people entered the race. I think they were pretty much packing up the race as I was finishing, <laughs> but I finished, which Good was the key. Good for you. Good for <laughs> and you. And then, uh, yeah, just got, you know, I guess more into the sport. And I read a book by a, a famous endurance athlete named Rich Roll. Um, and in the book, he had talked about using spirulina as something that he consumed regularly for a lot of his feats. And it's kind of ironic because on the plane ride over here, I was listening to his podcast to obviously come on your show and talk about it. Uh, <laughs> so that was kind of a, you know, serendipitous <laughs> moment. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he always has this quote where he always talks about there's no uh, destinations, like when you embark on something that's difficult or anything that you want to do. Yeah. And I think sometimes, you know, you think, oh, if I could just get to this step, I'm going to be happy or this step, I'm going to be happy. But it's really just the, you know, journey of getting to all the steps. Um, and I think, yeah, as John said, you know, building a company is a lot like that. So. So you I guess you embarked on this a few years ago, right? Must have been kind of challenging. Oh, yeah. Right. Because you've got to research everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, and your backgrounds, I think, are in finance and business or both finance. Both yeah. Finance. Yeah. So so you're looking at something and you're like, well, OK, this is our idea. But like, how as entrepreneurs did you start? Was that difficult? Yeah. Google okay. is helpful. Uh, <laughs> <Google>. <laughs> Shout out Google. Very yeah. helpful. <laughs> um, and we just, you know, I think we knew the thing, like we knew spirulina was the thing and we didn't know exactly how it was going to come to fruition. and. We said to ourselves, um, at some point, we know we're going to need to like, raise money from people and have someone give us money and trust us. And we thought to ourselves, 
what do we need to be like on the other side of the table to have, if I was investing, saying, okay, I feel comfortable that Cam and John are the right people or that this is the right business. And whether, whether it was the design of it or the taste of it or the supply chain or whatever you have and whatever you want to talk about, we wanted to be as far along as we could with our own resources. And, um, you know, one of the realities of COVID was that we could do both a lot better. So we worked our day jobs and we had a few extra hours during the day because we were working from home. Yeah, you weren't commuting. Yeah. That yeah. Commute, you used that commute time well. Yeah. Though. Yeah. And we just kind of committed and slowly but surely this became more and more real. And then it wasn't the question about doing it full time wasn't an if it was kind of a win. And then that naturally happened when uh, we got to a certain point. But yeah, I think um, just keep on learning and realize that, you know, you want to make as many mistakes as possible in the beginning because they're easy to learn from and they're cheap. And so I'm not, we're not made men by any point. We still have a long way to go, but that's <laughs> yeah. at least one of the learning processes that yeah. we've gone through is starting it out. And there's joys in entrepreneurship, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's one of the reasons that I started the show is that people at home can say, wow, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. Right, because they're just one step away from taking that dream and taking a step by step and making it a reality in their own journey. Yeah. So this product has uh, seven ingredients, and what what are some of the ingredients, and what is it that people are scooping out and <laughs> ingesting? I guess are yeah. partaking in. Yeah. So yeah, there's seven ingredients. I mean, the main one obviously is spirulina, and then we have some MCT oil there in there. Uh, we have oat milk powder in there, coconut uh, milk powder. Um, but, you know, the goal was just to make it so if someone just grabbed a tub off the shelf or if we were sampling in person, people could actually read the uh, ingredients list. Because sometimes, you know, especially with yeah. some of these supplement companies or, you know, protein companies, you know, maybe the first three or four ingredients, you know, but then the remaining 17, you know, sound <laughs> like a, right. you know, high school yeah. chemistry experiment. <laughs> yeah. um, and so that was definitely goal number one. Um, and then... You know, and then there's, you know, there's some things that you want to do, but you can't do just because of, you know, food safety or what have you. So we, um, you know, we made some concessions, but it was always with the mindset of, um, you know, just having the cleanest product that we could. Got to taste good. and It's got to yeah. be good for someone. Yeah. yeah. So spirulina, is it a type of algae leaf? Like, what is that? Is it something that grows on the algae? I don't even know. So yeah, you have to educate it is algae. me. Okay. Itself. Like that if is you've it. ever okay. seen like a swimming pool that has algae in it, right? That's a type of algae. The green stuff that grows, that's algae. Yeah. And I'm trying to get away from describing it as like your swimming pool nuisance, but that right. is that is a form of algae that grows. Um, and kind of what we were talking about before the show, uh, it's one of the most sustainable food sources on earth uh, and one of the most nutritionally dense. So it gives us us as people an opportunity to really buy something that is good for you and is contributing to a lower carbon footprint. And that's, you know, I think when you hear that from the outside before you're trying to do something like this, you kind of look at it like, oh, whatever, you know, not everyone recycles, so why does it matter like, as an example? But hmm. I think we're at a place now where you kind of have to do everything you can. And if it's like changing a product out for something else, that's a small thing, but a lot of small things add up to a big thing. And so I think that's just kind of how we take it day by day and step by step with that kind of driving our decision making. Now, is this like a meal replacement? Do you have like one shake per day? You know, like you're not yeah. solely eating only this, right? <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay, definitely okay. not. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely, you know, we added some uh, chickpea protein in there, but that's more of just kind of a supplement to, um, you know, the powder for people that are either need nutrition on the go or after they're done working out, but definitely the main you know, highlight of the product is the benefits of spirulina. And so I would say it's more of a complimentary product um, more than anything. And so we've even been finding, you know, people, obviously collagen is super popular now. So people will, you know, do a scoop of collagen, you know, in their morning smoothie and then like a scoop of lena. And yeah. it really, um, you know, so then it's just added to people's routines of what they're already doing. And it's not uh, like they have to stop using you know collagen or protein powder and then use us it's just really meant to be a um, complementary product to people's existing routines now are you thinking about having any brick and mortar space meaning are you, do you ever envision like having like a drive-through where you, <laughs> somebody drives through and is like hey you know you know instead you of join, some of that you instead of those, uh, maybe well instead <laughs> yeah. of some of the coffee companies that also come from that region perhaps yeah. you could yeah. also have you know, a little R and D, yeah, little, little something brick and mortar. I don't yeah. know. 
you know, or, or add it to the menu of somebody else that already has a brick and mortar. Yeah, I mean, that's I think that this smart. is great. Yeah. I really think that this is great. And yeah. congratulations to both of you. I'm honored when anybody from, you know, anywhere in the world comes in or they you travel to come and see me. Yeah. So thank you. And yeah. Chicago is such a, a great city, too. <laughs> like, you know, the Navy Pier and, all you know. Yeah, it has it all. Yeah. It has it all. <laughs> it does, it does have, have it all. all. Yeah. yeah, it really yeah. does. So uh, although I like the pizza, I grew up in St. Louis. I like St. Louis pizza. Yeah. I like New York pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chicago pizza is okay once in a while. Yeah. This is yeah. very doughy, but line. you know, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get any hate mail from my Chicago <laughs> yeah, fans. Right, but right. Um, I'm going to try this, and yeah. thank you very much, yeah. really truly, for the education and the opportunity to uh, share your knowledge with the world. So yeah. thank yeah. you, Cam, thank you and us. thank you, John. Yeah, thank you. Uh, stay tuned for more. If you're an inventor or if you're into health and fitness, I'd love to hear what you think about this too, or if you're just a everyday mom like me and you need a little energy, a little pep in your step, you might want to try this product. Thanks for watching.